Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a dope t-shirt like this. You can do any image, you can do this same image. Mm. For those of you who don't know, this is the cover art for Allie Hills' new single, Not Now. It's fantastic. It's a bop. It smacks. It's everything I've ever wanted in any song ever. I could be biased, but like, I don't think so. I think this is me being as objective as possible. Alright, let's get to it. The things you'll need for this project are a shirt, a second shirt because you'll probably mess the first one up, transfer paper, a cotton pillowcase, and an iron. To get these items, you're gonna get in your car and stream Not Now by Allie Hills. Then you're gonna go to your local Walmart and search around in the clothing department and not find what you're looking for. Then you're gonna find bandanas and get a bandana because you like bandanas. Then you're gonna find yourself in the hat section. Get a hat because you like hats. And then you're gonna give up on finding the kind of tank top you wanted and stick with a plain white t-shirt. Finally, you're gonna listen to Allie Hills again on the way home. Alright, for the next part of this video, you're going to want to prepare your shirt. I really wanted a tank top, but I couldn't find one, so now I'm going to turn this one into a tank top. The next step is to iron your shirt. Do this before the transfer. This is what the pillowcase is for. Put the pillowcase underneath your shirt so that you can protect the surface you are working on, and be sure to not use an ironing board. The metal grates in the ironing board will affect the transfer of the shirt, and it won't be good for any of the parties involved. Alright, so the next step is to get the image that you want to put on your t-shirt. For me, I already have it in the desktop. The easiest way to do that is going to be to drag and drop it right in like that. Now I'm using Google Docs. You can use Microsoft Word. You can use Pages. You can use any kind of software that's going to allow you to drag and drop or download an image into the Word document itself. But what we have here is not going to work because we have it reading the right way. You're going to want to mirror this image. You want to mirror the image because when you print it onto the transfer paper, it's going to be right side up, but then you're going to flip it and then it's going to be reversed. And you don't want it to be reversed. I mean, I guess unless you do, I don't know your life. But for me, I don't want it to. I want it to look like this. So to do that, you're going to take this image, delete it. You don't need it. Then you're going to go up to insert, drawing, new. It's going to give you this nice little drawing box, and then you're going to drag and drop your picture again. Once it's in here, you're going to go up to Actions, and then down to Rotate, and you'll see an option that says Flip Horizontally. Click that. Now it's flipped horizontally. You're going to save and close, and it's going to appear in your document just like that. Now as you can see, this is probably going to be too small, so I'm going to resize it to the best of my ability. Perfect. This is exactly where I want it, so now we can go up and we can print it. Bam! Look at that. Backwards. Exactly what we want. We want wonton, not not now. What you want to do is remove all of this whiteness. We don't want it here, because if you do and you try to transfer it, you're going to get a weird white film on your t-shirt, and that's not what we want. We want crisp. Bam! Look at that. Exciting! almost near perfect lines. If it's available to you, use an X-Acto knife, use one of those cutter things, you know, but like craft scissors is what we do here on Katie's channel because we're a little bit trashy. All right, now that you've successfully done everything you need to do to get ready to actually transfer the image, it's time to transfer the image. So you're gonna flip it over. I'm not worried about it being exactly straight or whatever. We're just gonna go for it, and as long as it's not anything too obvious, I think I'll be okay. Sometimes you might have to readjust because you find out that you were wrong, and that's okay. That's what life is all about, readjusting to your current circumstances and making the best of them. Now that I think I've got it where I want it to go, we're gonna transfer it. Each transfer page that you get is going to have different instructions, so make sure that you read those to make sure that you're doing everything safely and correctly. Another thing I would suggest if you are not reading the directions is to make sure that the steam setting on your iron is off and that there is no water inside of your iron. Now after you finish ironing, you're going to want to take your shirt and remove it from whatever area you are heating it on until it cools. 
Alright, now that you've given your shirt enough time to cool down, you're going to want to say a prayer and then slowly lift one of the corners to make sure they're transferred correctly. This transfer paper should come off with ease. If it doesn't, it probably means that you weren't using enough pressure or the temperature setting wasn't high enough on your iron. All you need to do to fix this is simply redo the ironing step. No need to reprint or buy a new shirt. Oh, hell yes. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, oh. I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna wear it. I'm so excited. Okay, see you in a minute. And this is what the final product ended up looking like. I am super excited, super happy about it. I hope you learned something from this video. If there's something else you would like to learn, leave it in a comment in the comment section below. If you like this video at all, at any point, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to. I would like you to. That is all from me for now. I will see you later, alligator. I hate myself. <laughs>